my mind, there's really only one expert in the world that's kind of the leading authority on how to optimize your BNB. And he actually wrote a book about it. It's called Optimize Your BNB by Daniel Rustin. And actually, he goes by Danny, I believe. And we're going to talk about how to improve your listing. We're going to talk about how to rank your listing higher, how to get it in the results, get more bookings, and make more money. All right, let's pull up some of these uh, listings. We got, they're, they're, they're flying in. This is oh. great. Okay, so I'm just going to go in the order of who did first. So let's see, we got Gwen. Let me pull yours up. And this looks like it's in uh, Texas. So should I focus on this listing or should I just call out a few things from this listing and we'll move on to it? Yeah, let's focus on this listing. So um, this is Gwen's listing in Sleeps 12. Okay, cool. This is in uh, Dallas, Fort Worth. Let's, where do you want to start? Maybe with the, with the title here? Let's start with the title. So, well, usually I wouldn't start with the title because I would need to read the, li I'm not the host, so I would re need to read the listing to see what actually makes sense. Yeah, yeah, we could do that. Let me open this up a little bit. So instead of me, because this takes some time, you know, so instead yeah. of me reading this and thinking about what I would actually say, I'll speak in generalities and I do have some specific points. Yeah. So what I would do in, instead of this here, which is kind of block text, which is what everyone has, my theory is I want to separate myself in every way possible, in a, in a positive way from my competition. Mm -hmm. How might I do that with text? For me, I will bullet point out the text. And if you want, actually, it might might be good to later af afterwards show my listing and see yeah. how what I'm saying actually goes in real life. Love the idea of bullet points. So tell us tell us how that would be done. Yeah, bullet points here. So just whatever, five, six, seven, eight bullet points. And I was just talking with the host recently, and and I was telling him, you know, in the bullet points was like um, self check in. And, and fast Wi-Fi and, and smart TV. And he said, well, I didn't know these were like really sellable features. But for his house, it was really basic house. So mm. if you have a mansion with a sauna and a pool and you know a fenced private backyard, then those are the things you want to bullet point. But if you're a basic house, well, self-check-in now becomes a sellable feature. 100 megabytes per second, sellable feature. Uh, memory foam, mattress, sellable feature. Even things like ACs, stuff like that, super you know quiet neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. So bullet points, bullet points for the for the text here and also focus on whatever's at top is the most it, because Brian if you click out of this mm -hmm. we can see that you have to click show more so that's the most important part is the top part of the text so the first bullet point is the most important so part. the bullets go right here at the top yeah that makes sense the bullet points would go there yeah for the that's title great. there's one really easy change we could do with the title and you want to yeah. remember this is all within the theory of communicating the most information to the guest in as quick as po quickly as possible so instead of writing the word heart of DFW Metroplex, why don't we just add in a little heart symbol there? Yeah, heart emoji, okay, that's a yeah. great idea. Lu I would, luxury, for me, uh, the guests will decide that for themselves based on the photos. They'll, they'll tell mm. themselves if it's luxury or not. Sleeps 12, we actually can see, Sleeps 12 is in numerous spots. It's on P2, it's here on P3, so I wouldn't say Sleeps 12. If it Sleeps 20, Airbnb only allows you to select 16. So if it sleeps, sleeps more than 16, now that becomes something you want to call out. I want to, I want to throw something out here too, yeah. um, Metroplex. So I am not from Texas. Texas. If I, if I was, I'd probably know what that means. But if I'm traveling to Dallas, I have no idea what Metroplex means and I might not even know what DFW means. Maybe if I fly there, I wouldn't know what that means. So DFW and Metroplex are terms that are local to you. Now, a lot of times when you fly international, or you go to some other part of the country, people are using words and you're just like, I have no idea what that even means. So you also want to think in terms of if you have, if you're in an area that people are coming in mass, you know, as tourists, then um, you might not want to use words that they, they don't know what that means. So Metroplex, I'm sure that might, be, might maybe means an area of Dallas, but if it is an area, let's say, what does anybody know? Do you know what it means, Danny? What does it mean? No, and I 100%. So let's say it's downtown. If it's downtown, then it would just be a better word to be downtown. Because I don't know what that means, even though everybody in Dallas probably knows what yeah. that's what it means. So that's something to think about too. Don't use jargon that is local that nobody else would know. Yeah, unless it's something that's super, the only reason you would say this is if it's super prestige and everyone basically knows where it's at. But typically, yeah, location identifiers like this, even down. Yeah, exactly. Like if you're saying Upper West Side, or you know, or you're saying uh, Beverly Chelsea Hills in New York. You know, some people might not know what Chelsea is, but if you're looking for it, it's important. So yeah. So just something to think about. It does, I'm not saying it's wrong. Uh, so don't hear me that I'm saying it's wrong. It's just a lot of people, I've seen so many listings where I'm like, I have, I, I just totally clueless as to what you mean by that. So yeah. I would skip over it because I'm just, I don't know what that means. The only, the, there's another exception. If she's yeah, catering no. to, if this is like a big conference center and there's a conference coming up, then yes. you- so South by Southwest, you yeah, can say F, yeah. FX, whatever. You want to put that in the title because people will be searching for that. Yeah. Totally, totally. 
Uh, South by Southwest is huge, and people would put that in the title. All right, so let's go to another one. This is good stuff. All right, let's go over to Dave, and okay, here we go. This is in Pennsylvania. College's Bistro's history, come see the main line. Uh, tell me what you think here. All right, let's go. First off, let's comment on the reviews. He's at a four, um, what's Dave? Dave is at 4.97 yep. on Airbnb. If you're at like 4.9899, that's like top 1%. 4.995 wow. is like top 10%. Way to go, Dave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's very good. And there, I talked about earlier, like there's two things you can focus on when you're solving problems on Airbnb. It's your online listing or your hospitality offline. And then uh, above all that is pricing. If your pricing is off, it doesn't matter. So you're doing great there. I'm gonna go to the photos with this one. Let's do the photos. Yeah. So we have the first five photos here. Stay, stay with the first five. Oh, oh, I'm gonna yeah, make this comment. Key, okay, these, yep. So these first five are very important, especially on desktop, which we're at now, and which what I use predominantly to search. I only use that to search. And I think he's done a quick glance, not knowing what his other photos are, but he's. it looks like he's done a good job. He has two bedrooms and he's showing five different places in his house in these first five photos, including yep. what looks to be a menu or some kind of hospitality bonus that most people don't have. That's all I'm getting from that photo. Yep. If we click in here, you can see the thing at the top. I don't like this because this, it, it's an op this is an option you can remove. What 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 Dave is doing is he has identified each photo to a to a room. Uh, okay, he's tagged them for that room. He's yeah. tagged them, and so um, I just don't think it brings any value. I think it takes up space on the top of the page, and it, no it doesn't look like this. Yeah, it doesn't look like this visually. I, yeah, I prefer this because. I actually, I would click into these photos and, and click through them because this is too small for me. And I don't think, I, what I like to do is if you click on the living room, what I, when, you, when you choose this as well, Airbnb messes up your order. So do I want to show the guest three pictures of my living room, two of my bathroom, four of my kitchen, or do I want to show them the absolute best photos first and a variety of photos? I would. I want to do that. I want to be in control of my photo layout, which. So you chose rooms where over here she didn't choose rooms for these. She just posted them. I. What looks like to this one looks like that she she wasn't really conscious about the order as well, but she also didn't put them. She didn't tag by room, which is a good thing. But yeah, I, yeah. I would have. Okay, good. Yeah. I agree. Like I, this, nobody's gonna look at this. It's it, it, you just skip over that basically and go to these. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't think about that. Good. Yeah, and but keep in mind, it is also, I, I probably understand why Airbnb did this because similar to what we were just talking about in the title, oh, I got a notification that my, let me get my, let me get my charger. No, go for it. You're going to die. You don't want your, your, your computer to die. Okay, so I'll talk about something while he's doing that. So this is a staging thing. All right. Uh, this is not going to be a photo thing. This bathroom here to me is missing something. So I don't know what that is. Like, for example, this mirror, uh, I'm not saying you have to replace it, but you might want to consider the mirror and also there's no art in here i would add something to add some color um maybe a, it, just something to really make this thing pop um you see a trash can here you see under the sink which is ugly there's nothing wrong with cutting off the ugly parts of rooms i mean that's what hotels do everybody does this so make sure like that bathroom doesn't seem inviting to me even though the rest of the house looks really good here i would add some things i would add some some green some plants some flowers something to really make it pop uh so you have greenery here that's great but you can do these little things and it just, it's subconscious. It's not like somebody says, oh, there's a plant there. I, I like this place. It's they just immediately feel like this place has style and it's the kind of place that I want to be in. So just something to think about when it comes to staging. Oh, hey, can I ask you a favor? Click the red subscribe button below and the bell next to it for notifications because it will make me very happy and encourage me to make more videos. Thank you. Let me go ahead and pull somebody else up because we got a lot of people that want us to look at their listing. So let's go to the next one. I wanna go through them too fast, but I also don't want people to feel like we're not looking at their stuff. Ooh, that's interesting. All right, here we go. This is uh, uh, Alexandria. So Alexandria has this. So this is different food as the first shot. I like okay. the stars. That is a cool idea. What do you think of the stars? I like the stars, yeah. Right. Um, yeah, that'll, that'll set it apart. Yeah. I like the stars. I would say for the type, spacious, again, like they'll, they'll decide that for themselves. I wouldn't say spacious. I wouldn't say four bedroom. Minutes from downtown, if that was me, I would say like, for min with a little be, with a little specific. arrow yeah be specific yeah yeah yep. yeah be specific for sure let's go down this a little bit and let's have let's see if we can find some other some other oh something a lot of people are confused about that the price there 171 171 yes. equals your cheapest price within the next 28 days they change everybody changes that up often that's now what it represents 
So that means you could just choose one day, price it low, and actually get people to see that number as being lower. Yep. Which might, might entice them to look at the listing first, even though it's not the... Yep, and I've, I've actually recommended that customization to Price Labs, to just price one day, that's a Monday, probably just lower 10%, 15%. So right that's a huge list. hack. Listen, guys, that's a huge hack. Now, I know it's annoying, because when I travel mm -hmm. on Airbnb, I click on it because I think it's one price and it ends up being a completely different one price. But it's kind of a, I guess, is it ethical? I don't know, but it's it's something, it's just the way it is. So if you if you have every every night for 250, then somebody budgeting for under 250, let's say 200 less a night is not gonna find that listing. But it doesn't mean that somebody looking under $200 can't afford 250. It's just they don't maybe feel like they can. Like, you know, they don't, they don't feel like they found something they want enough. So something to consider is to price a couple of those nights lower, maybe like a Tuesday or a night that doesn't generally book, price it really low so that if you get in those search rankings, you're gonna show up. What you're doing there is you're widening your pool of FPGs, future potential guests, with that trick. FPGs, okay. And you want your guests to fall in love with your space before they see the price. Is it ethical? I think it's fine because here's the thing. I offer yep. the best Airbnb in Medellin. I offer the best Airbnb in Medellin. People, yep. guests are lucky to be booking with me, but they don't know that because there's so much competition and you can't really, you can't identify that yep. before you come here. And and I and look at my reviews. I, I have a 5.0 for my first 21st yep. reviews. So I don't feel bad at all doing that. In fact, I'm helping the guests out. This is what hotels do. So <laughs> I'm, go, I'm going to Vegas next week and I was looking at staying at the Bellagio and they say from 150, if you click on it and you go mm -hmm. to the site and it's $300 and up for all the rooms. And then you start looking at the photos and you're like, oh, maybe I'd spend more to get that suite. So it's just, they're trying to upsell you to the next thing. And uh, that's something that most people, I would say 99% of hosts don't even know that that's a thing. Like, where does that number come from? And how does that work? So that's a really good insight. Thank you for that. All right, let's talk about the photos. What do you think about these? Uh, or do you want to go to the description or what, what do you we think? We can do the photos because this is an interesting photo. I've never seen this before. It's a place, it's a piece, it's some food. I'm, I'm hoping that they offer free breakfast or something. So click on that. They should have a yep. caption there on that photo so that it tells us. Uh, downtown Indy is full of flavorful brunch locations. Yeah. Okay, that's bad. So that's a bad photo. It, it, yeah, it's bad. And it might it might stop somebody in their search, but also it might just be kind of like they skip right over it. If that's your key photo and it looks like it is, yeah, that's your key photo. So you're you're having food that's trying to rank with a whole bunch of what this property. host What this host is doing is selling her competition because all of your competition also has cool brunch spots in the neighborhood. That makes no difference yeah. to your space. You're selling your space. We can talk about neighborhood photos later, which is a thing. I got some thoughts on the, on the photos. Let's see if you agree with this. These photos are, they're almost so wide as to make it look empty. So like this, this photo could be tightened. This photo could be tightened. Even this one, because they're so wide, it makes, it makes the place feel a little empty. Like there's a lot of white space here. You know, that's just a thought of mine, at least that these could be a little bit tighter, even though generally you want wide open photos. I would bring this in a little bit more, bring these in. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is nice. Some of these touches are really nice on the decor. Yeah. Uh, I like some of this. All right, so what are your thoughts here? On the photos, okay, let's click click in the photos there and see how many they have. Word of just, oh, you mean just click any of them? Yeah, click any go. any of the photos. 26, and come 26. Up. So they got 26, okay. So then let's click out of them and let's go down and see, actually click out one more time. Mm -hmm. For having for having only three clicks to make a booking, sometimes the website is, there's a lot of clicks going on, especially as a yeah. host, you have to click log into my host account and then you click other and then you click listings and then you click the listing it's kind of crazy but anyway so it's a four oh four bedroom wow okay so four bedroom two bathroom all right so i was i was assuming it was going to be like a two bedroom one bathroom and i was going to say probably we would end up with 15 photos and we were going to go through and i was going to tell you which ones to delete but let's um let's click in and see what she has here i'm guessing sure. her photos in terms of wh what she's taking a photo of is good you only want a photo or two of each space i see here there's two of the dining table yeah, we got one, two, three of the of the kitchen, one of the dining room. Three of the kitchen. Yeah, I, I see three of these tables here. Three of the same yeah, yeah. table. Yeah, three tables. You're right. What I like to do is I like to take a photo of a space. So whatever the best angle is of just the dining room, that table, <clears throat> take that. And then switch it around because you, again, go, guests are going through these really quick, 0.75 seconds per photo. So they Fast. just look at it. Okay, I see a, there's a, there's a dining table. looks nice. And then turn around. Okay, there's a kitchen. It has a... A dishwasher and a full full fridge. Okay, this is the bedroom. Of course, you could. What's that thing on the bed? Is that a dirty I, dirty yeah. clothes hammer hamster? I thought that <laughs> I thought that was odd. Also, the the everything's closed up. First rule is you want to make sure the room is bright as possible. All these curtains are closed in every every room, so that, that doesn't look inviting to me. That if these could, curtains were pulled back, it would be much more inviting. I agree. It could be by design. If if you open those windows and it's in a big city and there's a brick, maybe it's ugly. Yeah. Yeah. Perhaps. Then you would do want to close those windows. But, but that can, a lot of that can be fixed. A lot can be fixed in Photoshop. You know, a lot of things, you know, if it's something here, you can actually just, 
uh, frost it out so you can't see what's there and stuff. But yeah. to me, you want to you want to have this filled with sun. Everybody wants a sun filled room, you know. Yeah, and I'm actually working on a product now because a lot of people they don't they just simply don't take professional photos or they don't want them or they don't value. Them, I'm not sure. So I'm working on a product now where people can take their own photos and then my designer will uh, touch them up, edit them up. I'll, I'll choose the yeah. photos and he'll edit them up. So that'll yeah, be lighting awesome. is the number one key when it comes to good photos. It's not even necessarily, uh, I mean, you can have a, a mediocre camera, but great lighting and get a better photo than poor lighting with a great camera. <laughs> and you can't, that that's key. You And I, and I couldn't, a, design, a, a designer couldn't edit the photo to make it look like it had good natural lighting from the beginning. That's like a foundation exactly. thing before you edit the photo. You can see I love I love lighting. I got I kind of obsess over lots and lots of lighting in this place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing photos today, but uh, big fan was, of lighting. I was proud of these, these ones here behind me. Oh, I'm having trouble. The three. Oh, you got something behind you? Yeah. I got the three little statues and then the three lights above them with that light, not nice bright white color. Yeah, lighting is important. Okay, so these being on the, the bed, I don't know. To me, it's just, that's kind of odd. And, and for, again, this, nobody wants to see the ceiling. So I would just cut that entire ceiling out. There's nothing up there to show. Unlike where Danny is, is a beautiful chandelier. You want to show that off. I would cut that out and just bring this. If you brought all this in, it would be nice and tight. I think it'd be a better, better shot. This is a very common problem as well. If I were to venture to guess, Airbnb may have taken these photos, if she can, if she can answer us. Airbnb really? professional photographers seem to take more of the roof for some reason. It makes no sense. I don't understand why. I can't, I point it up. Yeah. Very odd. Yeah. The other thing, and here's the thing I, I've always found is if you go to hotel websites, hotels are the best because they're selling rooms. Go to hotel websites and just obsess over what are they showing in the photos? What what are they showing on these rooms? Because they're just selling individual rooms and they're really good at it. Because you know, think about how many hotels you've been to that don't look anything like the photos, but the photos were so well done. That's what you want to copy, I think, ultimately, is like, what are the big, big companies doing? And they have, the, where Airbnb doesn't really give you much data, these companies, you can assume, have the data to know exactly what photos they need to put in. Oh, yeah, because they're split testing every photo. They know they know immediately which photos are getting the most clicks and yeah. all that kind of stuff. So so as an example, let's just, um, mm -hmm. all right, we'll just call, well, I'll just pick a random hotel, Four Seasons Anguilla, so we'll go to the site, and let's see if we can see what the rooms look like. Now, of course, this is a, here's private retreats, okay? So let's see. Are they going to give us photos? Here we go. Yep. So four bedroom oceanfront. View details. Don't know anything about this place. Just picked it randomly. Any hotel will do. All right. So let's. Oh, this is a 360. That's interesting. Is that something Airbnb's doing now? 360s? No. no. Neither. Okay. Neither. Videos so either. so even even we don't even need to see the photos. I don't know if there's photos here or just 360. This this is a really advanced site for a hotel. Which is cool. <laughs> just look at this. Look at this photo. Now, granted, I know there's an ocean behind here, but look at the way they're doing this. There's no ceiling. They're showing. They got this this table is kind of dominant in the middle. They've got little pieces here. You can buy these things at Marshall. You can buy books and whatever you call these things. I think my wife loves that I hate. You can just put those things in places. And you can literally say, all right, I'm gonna get a chair. I'm gonna get a couch. I'm gonna try to reduplicate this. Because there's something to this photo that, that is designed. It's, it's put together in the right way. They're not, not the photo, but the, uh, the interior design of, of the place. So and these the are the kind of things you can do, yeah. The height of the camera is probably like five and a half feet, six feet high. It's what you might be oh, seeing. Oh, good point. There. It's down here. It's yeah. not up here looking down. Yeah, yeah, good point. It's like you're sitting in a chair yep. next to this couch. Yeah. So this is what you want to do. You can go to any, you, you know, you could go to a force, uh, 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 doesn't have to be, it could be a Motel 6, doesn't matter. Just look at any quality, you know, any any kind of hotel that's marketing. So I think that's, that's a good cheat. You know, you can see it's a big difference as far as like the feel of a hotel versus uh, Airbnb.